Christmas Carol Discuss the character of Scrooge Dickens very carefully and meticulously crafted the character of Scrooge to represent a typical, cold, avaricious, capitalist-class businessman who helps to move the plot along. Right at the outset, Dickens portrays him in a very negative light, cold and unkind, with a tight-fisted hand at the grindstone, implying that he is mean and uncharitable. Dickens also uses pathetic fallacy to describe Scrooge's personality. Quote, cold, snow, wintry, connoting that he is, quote, icy and frozen with no love and warmth and that he doesn't have the ability to emit a glow of warmth to his fellow humans. Dickens uses a metaphor for the weather to describe Scrooge's cold character. The imagery of the lonely pearl lodged inside the oyster is a perfect analogy to describe Scrooge's Scrooge's loneliness and isolation. He is devoid of any emotions and has no need for any sort of healthy communication. Scrooge's rejection of Christmas cheer and its significance, labeling it as, quote, humbug would cause the Victorian readers to surely raise their eyebrows. Scrooge's miserly would call for his clerk, Bob Cratchit, who desperately tries to warm himself with a candle light. This implies that Scrooge is an imposing and dominant character, especially when he accuses Bob of, quote, picking a man's pocket because he had given him Christmas Day off. When his nephew visits him with a hearty, quote, Merry Christmas, his rudeness and ill manners shocks the reader, especially when he uses a graphic imagery to show his distaste of Christmas. Quote, Every idiot who goes around with Merry Christmas should be boiled with his own pudding and buried with a stake of holly through his heart. Scrooge is reluctant to give money to assist the well-being of the poor. Quote, I can't afford to make idle people merry. His reaction to those in prison, quote, if they would rather die, they had better do it and decrease the surplus population. And yet again, his harsh reaction to the little carol singer, quote, Scrooge seized the ruler with such energy of action that the singer fled in terror display his deep, self-centered attitude of disdain and rejection of social issues. Dickens was intent on conveying to the reader his very important message of social responsibility. Juxtaposes Scrooge's early behavior from being money-obsessed and obnoxious at the beginning to that of a joyous generosity and ecstasy of spirit at the end. Scrooge's purchase of the enormous turkey, raising Bob's salary and his benevolent donation to the charity collectors 
is testament to his awakening and redemption brought about by his journey with three spirits. Each spirit, in turn, takes Scrooge on a soulful, visionary journey, laying bare his cold, uncharitable existence and awakening in him a desire for change and redemption towards his fellow man. The first spirit, the ghost of Christmas past, transports Scrooge into the past to come to terms with his unhappy childhood. The second spirit, the ghost of Christmas present, takes Scrooge to see a wide variety of people in the city and how they overcome inequality at Christmas time. Finally, arriving at the Cratchit's house to see adversity overcome by love. The third spirit, the ghost of Christmas yet to come, transports Scrooge into the future to shock Scrooge into redemption by showing him how terrible events might be if he doesn't redeem himself. People's joy at his death, his overgrown tombstone, and the early death of Tiny Tim. Scrooge learnt many lessons from the ghost and acknowledges the error of his ways and was prepared to fully redeem himself and make amends for the wrongs he had done, hence winning the respect, love and forgiveness of the reader. Dickens echoed the tiny Tim's revered words, God bless every one of us. And the use of the child's voice is poignant here because tiny Tim was somewhat indirectly connected to Scrooge's redemption because Scrooge became like Tiny Tim's father in the end. Thanks for watching and if you like my video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and share my study guides Eve's super super easy books have lots of help and exam questions on A Christmas Carol. It's now on Amazon to purchase. Thanks.